Last night, we were the only show in all of cable news to bring you the story of hundreds upon hundreds of Congolese immigrants being dropped off in San Antonio after crossing the border. But for many of them, that is not the final stop. San Antonio's assistant city manager, Dr. Colleen Bridger, revealed this to a local CBS station. Quote, the plan was 350 of them would travel from San Antonio to Portland, as in Portland, Maine. When we reached out to Portland, Maine, they said, please don't send us any more. We're already stretched way beyond our capacity. Now, why would Portland be beyond their capacity? Well, I want to take you back to January of this year when Maine's new governor, Janet Mills, gave her inaugural address. We welcome the voices of newcomers also to the public conversation, the young, the immigrants, people of different cultures, all are important members of the Maine family. From now on, yes, a sign will greet all those arriving in our state, and it will say simply, welcome home. Isn't that nice? Well, in Portland alone, asylum seekers who are primarily from African countries make up 90 percent of the people living in the city-run family and overflow shelters. But back to today, when the San Antonio city manager's request to Portland was turned down, well, the response was jarring, quote, we're working with them, the migrants, now to identify other cities throughout the United States where they can go and begin their asylum-seeking process. Well, well, where are these migrants going to be dropped next? Well, that's anyone's guess. But the fact that two cities in two states thousands of miles apart are both at capacity should be alarming for all Americans. Now, we reached out to officials in Portland, Maine, and received the following response from a city councilor. Portland is proud to be a welcoming city for all Americans and those seeking to become Americans. At the same time, no city of 67,000 people can possibly manage the entire nation's immigration situation on its own. Wow. We are going to continue to follow this story and others like it and bring you updates, since apparently no one else will.